Welcome back my friend anime lovers. Have you seen any Chinese animation before? Today I will inform you about Chinese animation with an amazing story and amazing animation. And of course, this list is based on my own experience. If you have another suggestion, make sure to comment down below. So without taking more of your time, let's go to the video. Hitori no Shida, the outcast. Zhang Hulan is attacked by zombies in his grandpa's graveyard. He was saved by a mysterious girl that become his mentor later. The girl helped him to face his hardships head on and leaves. However, Hulan later sees that girl again at his university. From that moment, John Hulan's destiny begins to move. There will be strangers with special powers appearing one by one, with battles involving those abilities. Each episode will bring a new mystery to light. He found out later that his grandfather is one of the influential people in the martial arts world and has forbidden arts that only he knows it. A lot of strong martial artists in the world try to get that secret from John Hulan, cause they think his grandfather inherit the secret from him. All the leaders from well-known martial arts clans try to recruit John Hulan, but he is a person that doesn't even care about the martial arts world. And he always joking around and never had a serious attitude. Daily Life of Immortal King Wang Ling is a near-invisible existence with powers far beyond his control. But now that he's 16, he faces a new obstacle in his new life as a teenager. He always tries to hide his power because he got the power to destroy the earth. The story of this Chinese animation is about how Wang Ling lived his daily life and faced all his problems and helped his friends including the duel between school. This anime has a lot of comedy, facing arrogant enemies that always look down on him and regret it later. And don't try to touch his friend, he will beat anybody even a demon. A Will of Eternal A Will Eternal tells the tale of Bai Xiao Chun, an endearing but exasperating young man who is driven primarily by his fear of death and desire to live forever, but who deeply values friendship and family. He is a coward, a genius, and powerful in cultivation, but when he faces every problem his first option is always to run away. But don't ever try to harm his friends. He is always ready to sacrifice himself to protect his friend. The story of this Dong Hua is very good because Bai Xiaochun is a person that never stops learning and achieves his goal. His luck is very high, this anime is so funny, and entertaining the story also very good. The King Avatar Dota, League of Legends, or any open world MMORPG fans, maybe this is one of the right Chinese animations for you to watch. A top tier professional player in the online multiplayer game Glory, Yeshiu was called as battle god for his skills and contributions to the game over the years. However, when forced to retire from the team and leave his gaming career behind, he finds work at a nearby internet cafe. There, when Glory launches its 10th server, he throws himself into the game once more using a new character named Lord Grimm. Yeshiu's early achievements on the new server immediately catch the attention of many players, as well as the big guilds, leaving them to wonder about the identity of this exceptional player. However, while he possesses 10 years of experience and in-depth knowledge, starting afresh with neither sponsors nor a team in a game that has changed over the years presents numerous challenges. Along with talented new comrades, Yeshiu once again dedicates himself to glory, making a new team from random talented people with the ambition to win the competition. Grandmaster of Demonic Cultivation Grandmaster of Demonic Cultivation is an adaptation of the Chinese web novel of the same title. Xian, the state of immortality that all cultivators strive to achieve. However, there is dark energy that lies underneath the forbidden demonic path. Through an unfortunate series of tragedies, this is the path that cultivator Wei Wu Xian experiments with during his teachings. His rise in power is accompanied by chaos and destruction, but his reign of terror comes to an abrupt end when the cultivation clans overpower him and he is killed by his closest ally. Thirteen years later, Wei Wuxian is reincarnated in the body of a lunatic and reunited with Lan Wangji, a former classmate of his. This marks the beginning of a supernatural mystery that plagues the clans and threatens to disrupt their everyday life. Grand Master of Demonic Cultivation follows these two men on their mission to unravel the mysteries of the spiritual world. Fighting demons, ghosts, and even other cultivators, the two end up forming a bond that neither of them had ever expected. 
Seoul land. Tung Sun is one of the Tung Sek martial art clan's most prestigious disciples and peerless in the use of hidden weapons. With high expectations, the sex elders believe his future will be bright, yet Tung chooses to forsake this life at the cost of obtaining the sex forbidden weapons. In Tulogo continent, the strong prevail and the weak perish. Each person possesses an innate spirit, some of which can be cultivated and strengthened, bestowing its user with various benefits. Those who were born with such spirits can become spirit masters, a profession regarded as one of the continent's most noble. Tung Sun, reincarnated into this strange world, knows only the life of a blacksmith's son. At the age of six, he takes part in the spirit master ceremony and discovers his spirit is blue silver grass supposedly the world's most useless spirit. In contrast, however, he possesses strong spirit power. Now, aided by the memories of his previous life as well, Tang's future as a spirit master is in no way bleak. Later Tung Sun meets Xiao Yu that will become his lover. Tung Sun meet all his friends in the Monster Academy who later become his family. Battle through heavens. Well, when someone comes to your house and looks down on your family. This is what happens to Xiao Yan. He swear to take revenge on Nailin Yan ran in three years and beat her. Xiao Yan is a boy that is so slow with his cultivation. And a lot of his friends laugh at his progress. But there is a reason why that happens. It happens because the spirit of a strong soul draining his cultivation, but later the spirit becomes his teacher and teaches him how to become a strong person. This Dong Hua has five seasons, the last season's animation is superb, so amazing. story is very good, from a weak person to a super strong character, and got respect everywhere. He even is friends with one of the strongest being there, Queen Medusa. And be friends with Ice Emperor. The first season of this anime has bad animation, but in the second season, another animation studio took over the animation, and make a wonderful animation. This is the best Chinese animation in my opinion, if you have another suggestion make sure to comment down below. Before we end the video if any of you want to buy an anime, and meme merch. Make sure to check the shop I put the link down below. Make sure to enter the code Murasuma to get 10% discount. Thank you so much.